Hi, in this video we're going to look at how to uh, assign a shortcut key to an auto text entry. I'm in Word 2013. The same will work for versions of Word 2007 and later. So uh, here's the address I want to save as an auto text entry. I select that text on the insert tab on my ribbon. I go to the quick parts menu, save selection to quick part gallery. Uh, I can give the uh, auto auto text entry a, uh, a name and I can choose where to save it to in the auto text gallery. Um, I could apply a category to it, but I'm not going to. I could also apply a description. I can choose to save it in the normal template so it's available to all documents. So here we are, click on OK. I've created my auto text entry. So how do I assign a shortcut key to that auto text entry? What I do is I go to the File tab, then I go to Options, and then I go down to Customize Ribbon. Now in the Customize Ribbon dialog box, I have the option to um, customize keyboard shortcuts. So I click down there. And then what I'm looking for in this list is an option called Building Blocks. And you can see it appears near the bottom. And then what I do is I look for the building block that I'm interested in. Now I call it my address. It should be in alphabetical order. And as I scroll down here, eventually we should get to my auto text entry, my address. So now what I do is I assign a shortcut key to it. So I'm going to call this uh, Control Shift M. Well, I'm not going to call it Control Shift M. I'm going to assign the shortcut key Control Shift M. And then I'm going to click on Assign. And we can now see that the uh, keyboard sequence has been assigned to this building block or this auto text entry. So I click on close. Let's see if it works. Click on OK on this as well. If I just lift that up, you can see what's going on. And now if I started a new document and I decided I wanted to use that shortcut key, Control Shift M, you can see that the address appears automatically. Okay, that's all there is to it, assigning a shortcut key to an auto text entry in Word. Thanks for listening.